What's up everyone? I wanted to hop on here real quick because I wanted to uh, react and also maybe inspect some of the elements and study this amazing, it, insane creation that was just released by, I believe his name is Sarkis, and he released a, a Webflow prototype of a game called Civilization VI. Now, I personally myself have never played it. Let me know in the comments below if you've played it before. I've never played um, this game, but he released this prototype. He pretty much made a whole video game on Webflow. And this website really shows the capability of what you can do with no code, with no code necessary. So we're gonna get hop right into it. I wanna look at it and we're gonna react to it and then also inspect some of the elements and hopefully not fully figure out, I'm not a genius like that, but at least try to see some aspects that we can apply on our next website project and see how he was able to create something like this. Now this website is insane. It was downloaded, uh, it was cloned, I mean, I believe more than a thousand times. It literally crashed the Webflow servers the day or uh, 24 hours after it released. So big props to Sarkis for your creation. I'm gonna tag his Twitter down below. And that's actually how I found out, found out about it. So we're gonna hop right into it. Okay, so it starts out with a kind of video loading screen, similar, similar to video games, 2K. I play a lot of 2K. I play a lot of NBA 2K. I literally buy the newest NBA 2K every single year. But, um, so he starts out with a loading animation and I actually just learned how to do something like that literally a week ago. I was finishing up a project for a client and he didn't ask for it, but I wanted to put a loading animation and I learned it's, it's actually pretty simple. It's just pretty much a, a div that is fixed and you put the video or GIF, whatever um, you're, you're uh, gonna put, and then you put a time limit. So, um, well, you could put it where once the website's done loading, it disappears. But sometimes if the computer is really fast, then the loading animation barely even shows up. So you could actually put a time limit that at the minute, it's gonna be a minimum of 10 seconds, 15 seconds, whatever, and then it will disappear. So pretty much what happens is when the, when the website is done loading, then the loading animation just kind of uh, disappears. So it's actually pretty simple to do that. Just learned that last week. So here we go. We are now in the game. As you can see, he's got a video background, that mouse animation thing. That's really cool. I'm gonna be honest with you. I still haven't figured out how to do that. Um, and that's because I, I just haven't done any research for it. I haven't done a website that required that. Well, I mean, no website requires that, but that would, that actually, you know, I wanted to put that. I am actually working on one, but I will probably, I will figure this out. So he's got one of those thing where when you put the mouse in a certain direction, the elements kind of move in the other direction. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I just noticed too, the mouse is cool. Got his own little mouse loader there. Okay, so a lot of times when people Kind of loud. A lot of times when people create one of these uh, game or animation things or workflow, you're really only able to um, pick one selection. But this one, you're actually able to pick, all, I think, all the selections. So let's try it. Okay, he's got the background music too. <laughs> That's insane. All right, so let's see. Let's see credits. Yeah, he's got the credits too. And I think it's legit. The credits of the game that's really cool it's got the mouse thing as well where when you move a mouse certain way it moves around all right it's fine we all know what you want to see we want to see the gameplay right but so let's see uh, i'm gonna click let's see gamer options my goodness he's got everything you gotta understand there is so much detail that went into this i man this is insane this this takes passion this takes desire this is literally a passion project because he's literally got every detail down. That is insane. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna try tutorial. So I've never honestly played Civilization. So I'm gonna click tutorial. I'm gonna turn off the music. Sarkis, I love you now and I know it's a game, but I'm trying to record a video, so. All right, tutorial. Let's see here. Well, I'll probably need the volume for this one. Wow. 
I don't know if that's a... I'm pretty sure that's a video. I mean, if he made this, like, separate divs with transitions like that, that's pretty cool. You can do that, by the way. You can make it almost like a 3D type. You see how the, the trees, when you move a certain way, kind of... Uh, you know, and they all don't move. It's not uh, 2D, right? So there's different dimensions to it. You can actually do like animations like that on Webflow. So I'm guessing there's like the story of civilization. I'm gonna see if I can, if you click, are we gonna be able to skip it? Or, oh, there you go. So this here to be our journey. Okay, okay. So I guess we'll try to play as Cleopatra for the ladies. I still cannot believe this is nearly created through well, that's just boggles my mind. What in the So this is how you know that it's intense. Like I gotta sit up like I gotta sit forward for this. This is okay. Units, I should move my face. There you go. All right. What does this do? So as you can tell, I've never played Civilization. So Civilization, Civilization, or you pronounce it. I've never played it, but we'll try. Can you zoom in? How do you do this? Oh, I don't know if you can, can you actually play. Let's try. Okay, lenses, religion. Continent. I don't know what that does. Map. Show grid. Okay, so maybe it's not fully playable. Well, I mean, I, we don't expect it to be fully playable, but still, as you look at, oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Just notice that. But still, as you look at this, is it not insane the detail that went into this i mean every little aspect all the buttons look at that that is crazy i'm looking for other words besides cool or insane or crazy but this is so cool and insane and crazy all the detail with this that is just amazing Let's see, what is, what are these? Okay, as you can tell, I literally have no idea what I'm doing, um, but I'm doing my best. I do like games like this. Um, well, I don't know, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna judge, right? But like, I was really into Clash of Clans. That was a huge game for me. Uh, shout out to Clash of Clans. If you played that, let me know, comment below, like, you know, what level was your town hall? Um, I think the highest I ever went was like Town Hall 9. And I think I stopped playing. It was insane too. Uh, one of my favorite board games is uh, Settlers of Catan. Shout out to my Settlers of Cataners over there. But that is an awesome game. We literally try to play that at least once a week. And I always have... To, uh, actually, tonight I'm going to have people come over and play that. But here we go. Let's try to get back to the menu. Okay, I'm not expecting it to save game. So let's go ahead and go to exit to main menu. Yes. Man, just, okay, I know I just clicked it and it stinks. But uh, literally just the hover state is literally just a video game. So that is amazing. Can you do multiplayer too? I will say that was a tutorial where I was, huh? No way. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought that you could actually click it. If you could, let me know. I'm probably doing it wrong. Um, but anyways, there's the game options. Additional content. Okay. Oh, these are like mods on the games. Can you... Oh, wow. Look at that. You could even do this whole disabled thing. I mean, just look at the detail. This guy really, really worked insanely hard for this. And if you're out there looking for a Webflow developer or a designer, you know who to co go to. If I don't answer your call, call Sarkis. Man, that guy's insane. So um, I think, so we're pretty much gonna, that's it. And 
I'm just gonna, we've already seen the gameplay, so that was awesome. Exit to desktop, and there you go. Well, anyways, that's it for today, guys. Big shout out to Sarkis, and I encourage you to follow him on Twitter. I'll put the link uh, on his Twitter down below. I'll probably put it in the screen too, right here. And I want to encourage you go check out webflow.com and uh, uh, look for that project. You're actually able to clone it, and you can kind of inspect and study for yourself. In my opinion, it's you can always learn more when you study it yourself. But big shout out to Sarkis. Great job with that project. You can really tell his passion that he put into it into every single detail and when i say detail i mean details people that was amazing shout out to you sarkis and i want to thank you guys for watching I encourage you to click the subscribe button down below and we here in Abar creative we talk about all things web once again my name is rr abroad smash that like button and as always i encourage you to keep I had the <laughs> suspense. Keep learning.